Here's a nice piece of poop. Well, I'm out here. I'm out here running around again with a uh, Montana wolf trapper. Big old pile of bear poop there. Uh, other friend Scott. We're running around up the mountains anyway. I'm a bear hunter. I like chasing bears. You see it just by holding it there, it's heavy. Yeah. What do you think? It's huge. It is huge. That is a huge bear, son. This is one of my favorites. Uh, just seeing that big old pile of crap there. Anyway, there's beautiful country up behind me. I'm in the back of the pack back here eating dust. There's uh, four of us today. Uh, Montana Wolf Trapper's kid and, and uh, uh, yeah, anyway, there are four of us. I just seen that, I had to stop and take a picture of that piece of poo. Yeah, I'm goofy, I don't know. Um, I don't know how much video I'm gonna do. The demo was awesome. Uh, I didn't video any there, but. Damn, I'm shooting a video there, Scott. Do you want to be on it? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. One second, I'm buckling up. Did you guys see that big old pile of poop back there? That uh, uh, bear, bear crap? He, that big old pile of bear crap back there in the road. Uh, he, 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 he's a motivated man. I'm motivated. He knows what he's up here to do. I'm just falling around eating dust and uh, what have you. But um, this fella here is gave, gave me a few really good tips about Martin trapping. There's a good bit of drinking. Anyhow. Oh, well, just looking at this view. Beautiful out here. Oh, my damn wolf trapper is telling me off in the distance that's the Cabinet Mountains. Up here and here in some beautiful, beautiful ground. Here. Hey, here, Paul, here. there's some bats in that tree. Shut up. <laughs> Uh, I had a set right here. This is where that lion almost got caught. <laughs> so I had a camera on it. I think one of these trees had a camera. I see that lion come in, circle around my golf thing. You know, <laughs> the boys are up ahead of me. Uh, anyway, uh, here's something I don't get to see in my country a whole hell of a lot anymore. So that's moose, moose scat from. Moose scat from the previous winter. There's obviously a moose using this road. I call them swamp donkeys. Um, used to have them. There's some more where I just parked. That's older though. There used to be a lot. I mean, a lot of moose where I grew up. Uh, just about every U-wood patch you'd come through, you'd kick them out of the U-wood. And, uh, all they're trying to say is the ticks that uh, killed off the moose in my area, but you know I, I find a lot of wolf killed moose and stuff, so I I don't believe what they're trying to feed me. Well, you can draw your own conclusions, but anyway, I'm just happy to see a piece of moose sign while I'm over here. That there's still some around. Oh. Anyway, I'm up here. It's a beautiful country. Still following Montana wolf trapper around. Uh, I didn't shoot any video yesterday. And I guess I should have. I didn't think I could. Found out I could have. Actually got to meet uh, Tom Orr off the mountain, man. Didn't even think to get a picture with him, but I had a good conversation with him about brain tanning, uh, bow making, and flint napping. So that was that's pretty neat. I was excited just to be able to shake his hand. Uh, I really enjoyed the Mountain Man show, him and Marty, and uh, watching through the years. Uh, found out he actually rode in my hometown rodeo, uh, Border Days. 
through these years when he was a younger man. He was a hell of a cowboy. He could really lay it to him. So came out, quit rambling. Um, I got to catch back up with these guys. I keep seeing different signs, different <laughs> crap in the road. Stopping and looking. So he's on a mission. Paul, he's a knows where he's going. I don't want to get left behind. So. I don't know how I'm gonna put this video together yet, but it's been a great time over here and uh, learning from him and Scott and the tricks they do. And um, you know, if you can find somebody, they'll take you under their wing and show you. Here's some puffball mushrooms. Well, these are these are an edible mushroom. Well, if I was out here. Have to make a living off the land. These are thimble berries. They're not ripe yet, but there's still parts of it you can use. Um, you know, I'm just enjoying running around the mountains, and seeing some new country, and getting some pointers, swapping ideas back and forth. What's worked for me, what's worked for him, what's worked for Scott. Uh, Scott's a heck of a trapper, too, so I mean, like. Yeah, he does awesome. Anyway. Sitting there looking at this tamarack. That thing, it's got seasoned cracks going up it. Dead as you, the top of it looks like it could fall out, rot. And it's got green branches coming out of it. Look at all the moss. That's unreal. I've never... All the bats, lots of bats. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I mean, it's got a season crack all the way up that. That was struck by lightning, and I guess it's got green branches. Years ago, huh? What do you make of that, Chance? It's something. <laughs> it's something, Paul. It's something. <laughs> Ain't that something? <laughs> Ain't, that something? That, Ain't that something? You got any thoughts on it? Yeah. Am I just easily amused? Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at the puffball. Squirrel. Squirrel. There's poop. There's poop. Squirrel. Look at that puffball. Look at that flower. Shiny. Oh, gosh. Look at that stick. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, he's, he's always in a hurry, you know. I just want to sit there and look at rocks. <laughs> Loafing. Damn loafers. <laughs> I, I don't know, it just something about it. What do you guys think? Am I easily amused? Yeah. Tell me in the comments. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> that's how you learn shit. That's, that's how I've been learning. I've been learning. Learning these guys are always in a hurry. There's a country song about that. Is it? In a hurry to get things done, I think. It could be. I rush and rush until life's no fun. When Brendan is with us on the wheelers, we don't know what to do because he's so fucking slow. <laughs> so would you set this one up, Scott? This is Scott. These are wild strawberries and they're ripe. Those are tasty little morsels right there. I'm gonna eat me some of those. Well, it looks like I got chew in my lip. Uh, Scott had some fake ones. That little strawberries. Those are chipmunk balls. Chipmunk balls, whatever. He eat those too. He's out of Copenhagen. He'd eat about just about anything right about now. There's poop right behind it too. Yeah, there's. Give you two dollars. I'll buy a can of Copenhagen. I've done it for I'll fifty cents. Can of Copenhagen I got in my pocket right now. He ain't got no Copenhagen, you bluffer. <laughs> Well, I don't have no chew, and, and uh, Scott's got some of this fake stuff, and I'm chewing on it. It is not working. Oh, on, it, uh, um, there's another good strawberry. Where am I at? Tasty. Going back that going way. Back that going way. out. Mm -mm. Meet you at the house? <laughs> yeah, you know how to get there, right? Mm. I'm going to hang her down if there's no turns. Nope. These bad boys are all right, Scott. That one's not quite as ripe as the other one. You guys can sit there and talk about strawberries. I'm going to go home and make cheeseburgers. 
Cheeseburgers. Oh, girl guts. <laughs> there's a hell of a patch of them right here. Try right that one. That one's a little more right. Oh, that's good. Good. Oh, yeah. good, aren't they? Great. I guess we gotta go catch up with the. I'm gonna come up with a nickname for him. The lunatic. The lunatic. He's a haul ass. I'm kind of guy. I like to take time to smell the flowers and eat the strawberries. I guess. You want another one, Scott? Right in your shadow, right in your chest. Bottom of your chest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. There they are. Yeah. There, you can get the real ripe one. Go ahead. I like smelling flowers, I guess. Anyway, we gotta go. Oh, there's another one. Mmm. Look at them little tasty little buggers. Mmm. That must just be terrible. You'll come off your line and have a knee like this. <laughs> Paul, you got an outstanding, beautiful country up here. Amazing. Here with Paul again, Montana Wolf Trapper. We just uh, ran some heifers back in. He said something funny to me. We just missed missed one. He said they're like mice. <laughs> anyway, we're we're uh, chasing these heifers back back in again. He's got a full full time job just chasing cows. I don't know how he's got time. Nobody nobody's fixed the fence for probably ten years. Yeah, he yeah, said so nobody's fixed the fence in probably ten years and. <laughs> oh, chasing cows i've had a great trip over here i can't thank him enough for his hospitality and the information shared at the demos i apologize to you guys about not video recording that i'm trying to still learn tricks myself but we're out here chasing cows now had a great ride today um learned some things about martin country and just this country in general and and uh how paul Chases wolves and now we're gonna do a little fence building. We're repairing, not building. Oh. <laughs> See if we can keep them where they're supposed to be. That's just an absolutely beautiful ranch he's out here on. See ya, we're gonna jump in here with him. We'll go down here and do a little fence repair. I just wanna thank you, old code, for have me along for the ride it's been, been awesome nothing but great information and, and uh stunning scenery and stunning there's that word stunning i like that word stunning it's the, it's the most overused word um, uh, on facebook i think at least when i was on it no. that's, a, that's a stunning man <laughs> over exaggerated word huh. it's, it is stunning here though isn't it it is yeah super stunning Absolutely it's stunning. It's not even just stunning, it's super stunning. Outstandingly stunning. Outstandingly stunning. Oh no, I appreciate you coming. I, I enjoyed every, every part of the company, so. Well, okay, great host. Twice now, been over here. He just went but above and beyond, and and uh, it's been great. I just want to thank you, sir. Old Thanks code. Old code. 